welcome to Haynes Gallery. My name is Lisa Lindenbaum. Haynes Gallery was founded in 1987 by Cheryl Haynes, and we moved to our current location here in 49 Geary in 1989 following the earthquake. Uh, we represent 24 artists. Uh, they are both local and international, and we focus on a diverse variety of, of medium. We, photography, painting, sculpture, um, installation work, but all with a deep conceptual underpinning. Uh, we have two gallery spaces. We have a larger gallery space, which is our main gallery space, and then we have a second space, which we can use as a, as a project space. And that allows us to experiment a bit more with some installation work uh, and some new emerging talent. We are standing in Kachin Bonifant's current exhibition at Haynes Gallery. It's entitled Hortensia Suitcase Deluxe which is a play on the title of the exhibition in our main space by Kota Ozawa, Odessa Staircase, Redux. Both Katya and Kota were in conversation uh, while they were creating both of their exhibitions, um, hence the somewhat collaborative nature uh, of the two shows. So right now we're standing in front of wallpaper that Katya actually designed. Um, it was for an exhibition originally in Germany at one of the Kunsthall museums where she was asked to create a piece with uh, a floral motif. And so she uh, designed this wallpaper and she liked the idea of floral wallpaper being somewhat commonplace and she was taking a different approach to this. It's, it's very big, it's very bold. Um, it also has these wonderful little creatures worked in. There's a watercolor component to it. Um, so it really takes on a very different quality and meaning. When she talks about this work, it's, it's really about desire. Um, the other component of her work that she often references is she's interested in these strange encounters, as, as she calls them. So, um, you know, for example, this, this little creature in this you know, somewhat traditional floral wallpaper. Um, and then we can move on and also discuss her uh, small animations, which are these, she's taken vintage clocks and calculators and actually embedded them with animation. So sometimes when you see this piece, it, it, it says a, a very traditional time as it would in its original form, but then it morphs and changes into this small little animation work. Visitors to the gallery really come in and, and enjoy this exhibition. It's, and I think it's a nice counterpoint to Kota's work, which is incredibly dense and intellectual. And this is also very smart and compelling work, uh, but has a levity to it. Hi, my name is Kota Izawa, and I'm standing in front of um, some drawings that are part of an exhibition here at Haynes Gallery called the Odessa Staircase Redux. It's a series of drawings based on a very famous film sequence by the Russian uh, filmmaker Sergei Eisenstein. Um, the project was somewhat of an assignment. I uh, was invited to produce a book and um, the idea for this book was to make a drawing of uh, each cut in this uh, five minute sequence. Um, the five minute sequence consists out of 154 individual cuts and that's um, the individual cuts is what make up this exhibition. Sergei Eisenstein was kind of a pioneer of film editing in the early 20th century and has been studied and studied over and over at film schools and that's, he came across my path in that same manner while I was a graduate student. Um, my own body of work comes out of animation and uh, there's, I find an interesting connection between the concerns of this film by Sergei Eisenstein and my own practice because he used, in my uh, interpretation of his work, he used um, actors almost like puppets, the same way that an animator would use cardboard or drawings to create a moving image or a moving figure.
Eisenstein's work came about at the same time as the very well-known work by Russian constructivist painters like Malevich and Elisitsky, who produced paintings pretty much out of abstract shapes, and circles and triangles. And even though he used live actors for his films, they're, they're very much geometrical constructions. You can see that in many of these drawing panels, there's kind of diagonals and horizontals and verticals. And uh, my, I, I guess I find there's an affinity be between my own way of working where I use figures and uh, recognizable scenes, but I'm still very much concerned with uh, shape and uh, value and um, um, geometrical makeup of an image. Um, apart from the drawings that are on the wall, there is also a series of photographs. And the photographs were all taken on the roof of the San Francisco Art Institute with the help of um, uh, numerous uh, students from the college where I teach and friends and their friends and so forth. And we uh, did pretty much everything that I did in the drawings. So there's a photograph for each of the uh, cuts in the Odessa staircase sequence. They look very far removed just because um, we try to be as true to the original as possible, but it's sometimes just not possible. Uh, Sergei Eisenstein had the entire Soviet army at his disposal and the, all the citizens of the city of Odessa, and I just had you know, 50 friends and uh, um, still camera. Um, there are two videos in this show. One of the monitors is a sequence of digi digital drawings. The digital drawings are kind of what's underneath each one of these ink drawings. They're um, digital tracings of the original film frames. And these digital drawings are then transferred with graphite paper onto the watercolor paper and then inked in. This is the process how these drawings come about. The um, video on the right monitor is a very late addition to this show. And it's a um, piece of found footage depicting a protest by UC Berkeley students at City Hall in San Francisco in the early 60s. And it was a protest um, against a gathering of the House Un-American Activities Committee. Um, the connection to the work in this show is really obvious. It's a group of civilians being chased down a staircase by a group of uniformed um, people. And it also shows that this Odessa staircase sequence, even though it's um, conceived by this Russian filmmaker, is kind of an endlessly repeating event. He himself based his um, film on an uprising that happened 15 years before the film was shot. So his uh, film, in, in a way, was already a simulation of um, a you know, prior event. Then the drawings are a uh, simulation of his work and then the photographs are a simulation of the drawings in an yet another form and then I just found that it, it was impossible for me to exclude this video of, of the protest on the stairs of City Hall because I found it was another inadvertent remake of the Odessa staircase sequence that it just seems to be a continuing chain reaction. <laughs>